His tongue was in my mouth, and that's all. Run. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's your girl idea and don't forget to like this video if you liked it, <laughs> obviously. And watch my video till the end. It helps me use your back end. And subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment. So today is going to be my first time video. So I just went on the internet and I searched my first time questions. And I got a couple, so I'm just going to be answering them. So yeah. The first one. The first app you check when you wake up in the morning. That would be my YouTube studio. That sounds weird as shit, but that's always the first app I check when I wake up. But after that, I do Instagram. Tell me about your first celebrity crush. That's easy. My first celebrity crush in life was not too much. My first date. <laughs> Never been on a date. My first girlfriend. Stop it. Get some help. The experience of my first kiss. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it was my first boyfriend, obviously. And I remember we're walking back from church. He was walking me home actually and we took like shower on the road we were walking so this was hot so he just was like let's just stop somewhere somewhere like under a tree or something and then I remember I was just standing there and then he kissed me and I remember for like the first 10 seconds I didn't get what was going on I didn't understand it I was just there standing his tongue was in my mouth and that's all after that first time, the second time he did it, and now I was doing what he was doing. <laughs> I was doing what he was doing, so that was my best kiss. Um, tell me about your first crush. I crush on people you know. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Tell me about your first boyfriend. Oh my god! What? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so my first boyfriend was when I was in existing. He was friend to a friend. He was a year older, so I was in existing. So he just finished secondary school, and yeah, that's it. What else do you want to know? His house address? I don't even know it. My first sexual experience. <laughs> People like how we put so much. It was my boyfriend in college. Was my okay, what my first car experience? So I was like in primary four, and okay, so that like I and so my sisters so were going to school in the morning. Okay, so when the car was in for my mom, and my, the car was warming, and I was at the back, and my immediate younger son was in front. <laughs> that is a um, manual, automatic rather. So she puts the gear in reverse, and we, <laughs> dude. We went back, like we reversed and we hit the pillar of our fence and broke it. Yeah, it was funny. Daddy, we didn't go to school. <laughs> like, nothing happened to anybody, but we just didn't go, back, go to school. My first cooking experience, the first thing I ever cooked in my life was porridge beans. Nice. And I don't know if that's, I have a weird obsession with it because that's like my favorite food. Porridge beans and white ride. Tell me about your first plane ride ever. My first plane ride was when I traveled to Enugu for my first training. I did apply for University of Mexico, Nigeria. Surprise, motherfucker! My first favorite music artist. Um, at this point, you guys should already see Pattern Nicki Minaj. Okay. Okay, the first YouTuber I subscribed to, the first YouTuber I subscribed to would be Ronke, Ronke Raji. That was the first YouTuber because I remember from her, I subscribed to Kitan, um, Nika's Corner, I subscribed to KND, I subscribed, I was just like, it's a thread. My first tattoo, I don't have a tattoo yet, but I'm going to 
skip one. My first YouTube video. Okay, my first YouTube video is not even on my channel anymore. Like, I deleted it because it had a um, copyright. But my first YouTube video was it was like a, like a DIY hair hey, oil. Oh, yeah. That was what I did. But good. I'm just thinking about it again. I'm cringing because the audio was so bad, the lights was so bad, the points was so bad, everything was so bad. My first concert was in my second year when DJ Spino came to school. I remember I went there with Stephanie, Ishi, my then boyfriend. Um, it was fun. It was so like the only thing missing was this concert, and I really enjoyed it. And it's funny because I didn't even start listening to Spin until after that like concert. But it, was, it was pretty late. It was, I mean, for someone who doesn't go out to someone who doesn't go to concerts, that was I, I had fun. The first biggest influence in my life was Nicki Minaj. That might come as a joke or a surprise to somebody, but that's the truth. Uh, because for a while I just didn't know how to find my standing. So, um, Nicki Minaj had so many other influences, like, girl. So, I, I guess it was easier to be different versions of myself, I guess. So, you know, but with time I made everybody one person. The first person who ever broke my heart. The first person who broke my heart was not my boyfriend, funny you know. The person was my best friend. So yeah. No story. I'm not just saying no story time. Okay? I mean if you want to know tell me nah, I won't talk about it even still, but yeah, that's the first person. The first person I text when something happens, when something exciting happens. Currently, would be my friend Oscar. Well, it depends, really. It depends. There's some people for this kind of thing. Like, if it's like general, my friend Oscar, but if it's like more, if it's more personal, my sister, my really younger sister. The first text I sent today, I've not texted anybody today because I don't like texting. The first thing I do in the morning is go and pee. <laughs> As the first thing I do every morning, immediately I wake up, I come when I go and pee. I don't know, it's like when I'm sleeping, I just keep reading. So that's the first thing I do when I wake up, I go to pee. The first hobby I adapted right off the bar would be singing. I remember just listening to um, Destiny Kids and like. Straight up writing my own song with my sister because I'm like, no time, we're not playing. Even though we are doing one name anymore. <laughs> but like, um, I was always singing. I grew up listening to Destiny Kids. If you didn't, uh, I don't know what to say to you. First where I music album was. I liked all Nicki Minaj's albums, but my favorite oh, was Pink Print. Yeah, there used to be a time where I could rap every song in that album word for word, no shit. Access when we don't tell you. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, watch this video till the end, please, and leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.